Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into this video from Sabertooth Computing in our new series called System Maintenance and Cleaning. In our last video we showed you how to clean and remove your DVD drive and today we'll be showing you how to clean and remove and maintain your liquid cooling unit. This is our liquid cooling unit. It's an Antec Cooler H20920. To remove this, you just take the fans that you've hopefully installed in a push-pull configuration. You unscrew them from the front. That'll just take off the front fan. And then you do the back fan here. Take off these four screws. And that'll take the whole radiator system out. And you can clean it. So, this is our liquid cooling system. Here's the radiator, it's pretty clean. I'm actually pretty surprised at what it's the... What have you been doing, Josh? Um... You can see right here, this is the outline of the spokes and the fan. So, this isn't healthy. This, this is what happens when you don't clean your computer very often. Especially if you live in a dusty environment like Josh's room. If you have compressed air, please use it. Um, just blow all the dust out. And if you blow from this side, it'll be easier to get the dust out because otherwise, if you blow from this side, you'll just be pushing the dust further in and it'll just collect in there and it will be very good. So get as much dust out as you can and then clean the radiator all along the outside with paper towel and just try to get as much dust out as you can and then make sure to clean these corrugated tubes and just clean the fans, look at this, Look, clean the fans that were on the radiator and make sure to get as much dust off as you possibly can because otherwise it's just going to collect and you won't get any, you won't get as much cooling performance as you could if it was clean. So basically the way that this cooling system works is the CPU is under here, it's, it's pushing a lot of heat up and then there's liquid flowing through these tubes down into this pump and the liquid carries the heat away up to these radiator fins and then it dissipates the heat into all these fins and then these fans up here, you can attach them in a push-pull configuration so it's pushing air through and then it's coming out the back side and that takes the heat away from the fins and then your CPU will remain cooler. So that, that helps mostly with people who are overclocking or if you have a really hot CPU and you want it to last longer. And that's basically just what it's for, for longevity of hardware and for keeping temperatures down. Hey everyone, thanks for watching today's video. Today we showed you how to clean and maintain your liquid cooling unit. Next time, we're gonna be showing you how to clean and maintain your motherboard so it keeps in a working order. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you like the video and you want to see more.